Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with one of the Comms Prepper helpers. Hi Preppers! In today's video we're going to discuss Harden Power Systems Backpack Solar Module unit here attached to this rechargeable battery. Now I did a previous video on this product line where I also showed the standard unit. These are 3D printed modules that are designed to attach and match the profile of standard rechargeable batteries that many of us use to power equipment in the field to provide you a standard means to connect your loads like your radio equipment and your modems and also a means to connect your chargers to keep your batteries topped off. Now unlike the original module I covered in my previous video which is a I call this the standard module this unit incorporates a custom built 50 watt PWM charge controller with the connections up here in the front so you can hook up an external 12 volt solar power array provided it doesn't exceed 50 watts. The PWM charge controller produces 13.8 volts for the float and for the absorption or bulk voltage it produces 14.6 volts. This unit like the other standard unit also includes a voltmeter here on the top which is controlled by this on off switch so you can see what the status is of the battery itself. Important thing to note is this voltmeter will not give you a voltage indication of the output voltage of your solar power array. So if you need to do that, you'll actually need to check the voltage from the array with a separate voltmeter. Now what I did here is this cable here runs up to my 30 watt panel on the roof here in the ham radio shack for charging up this battery pack here. Now with the magic of editing, I'm going to insert some still pictures to show you close-ups of this unit and the actual Anderson power pole connectors that are being used. Now to make your own cables you can order power pole connectors online. I picked this bag up at Ham Radio Outlet and made some connectors so I can connect up the actual charge controller here and then I made some cables to actually hook up my external equipment here. The Yaesu FT817ND and the SCS Pactor modem. One thing you should note when you're charging your unit with the external solar power array is the PWM charge controller will produce 14.6 volts for absorption mode. If you have sensitive equipment that can't handle voltages that high, you're going to want to disconnect it before you actually start charging the battery with the external solar power array. Now I did confirm with hardened power systems, if you don't have a solar power array and you just want to have this as an option or a tool in your toolbox in the field, you can still charge this with a smart DC battery charger through one of the load connections here. That's always an option. Just like the standard unit, if you want to charge these batteries up and you already have a battery charger for them, you can run them through the loads here. But if you're in the field and you need another charging option with solar power, you can come in here through the PV input array. Now I'll insert some of those still photographs that I took of the Anderson power pole connectors and show you how this unit was put together. Again, this is a 3D printed module. Looking at the load connections on the end, you can see that the Anderson power pole connectors are in the traditional horizontal position. However, to prevent you from accidentally connecting a piece of equipment or an external device to the solar power array input, hardened power systems very creatively rotated the Anderson power pole connectors 90 degrees to make the connectors vertical so you can't inadvertently connect something here. So if you look closely at this picture of the input for the PV array, the connector sits differently so a standard connector that's configured in a horizontal position won't be able to be plugged in here. This is an excellent piece of equipment with a lot of thought and design put into it. I'm really looking forward to making this a permanent addition to my emergency communications plan and my bug up bag kit with the FT817ND and the Pactor modem. And I'll be making more videos on these units in the future. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with the Comms Prepper Helper, introducing Hardened Power Systems Backpack Solar Unit. Bye guys. Bye Preppers. Make up your mind. Put up a script on the